in the last lecture we uh, have talked about uh, sliding mode control we started our discussion with uh, a simple uh, second order system and uh, learned how to design a sliding mode controller and then uh, we demonstrated uh, that design uh, with the help of uh, example of pendulum system and we have uh, finally uh, designed uh, a sliding mode controller for this pendulum system which had uncertain parameters and uh, in today's lecture we shall uh, uh, simulate to see uh, uh, the working of this sliding mode controller and then uh, we shall also talk about the uh, chattering phenomena which we discussed in our earlier lecture so uh, i have uh, simply implemented uh, this uh, sliding mode controller uh, on uh, this mat using this matlab simulink so uh, you can simply implement uh, this uh, pendulum system the equations uh, can be very easily implemented and uh, the controller is uh, simple uh, we are using uh, this a sig signum function which is over here and uh, sliding surface is uh, simple uh, we had taken a to be equal to 1 so this this is s which is equal to x1 plus x2 and this is signum of x a uh, signum of s and uh, then uh, this is minus 4 so we simply simulate uh, to see uh, the response of this system and uh, here is the phase portrait uh, we had uh, set some initial conditions uh, the initial velocity was uh, set to be equal to 0 this uh, vertical axis it is 0 and uh, the initial position was uh, set to be equal to I think it is minus 1.5 uh, some, uh, something and uh, the control action what does it do it brings any initial condition to this sliding surface and then uh, the trajectories slide on this sliding surface to reach the equilibrium point uh, which is over here uh, I have also uh, plotted uh, the uh, variable theta the angular position that is shown over here uh, uh, this was uh, is it visible uh, not so clear but anyway uh, this angular position finally reaches to uh, 0 which is uh, uh, the desired position and uh, plot of uh, the sliding surface sliding surface which was initially non-zero the control action brought the trajectories to the sliding surface that is at s equal to zero and then uh, this uh, in a very brief time you see uh, that the trajectories reach to the sliding surface and then it uh, continuously stays equal to zero and the control action control action is uh, some kind of impulses uh, these are impulses which are shown over here one thing uh, that uh, should be uh, clarified over here is that uh, real physical devices uh, will uh, respond to the average value of these impulses therefore it is sometimes more convenient to plot the average value or smoothened value of this control action and uh, that is also plotted all the gr these graphs uh, are shown over here uh, and uh, the control action is on the next uh, slide uh, this is the control action applied control uh, and uh, the physical devices will respond to the average value of this control action and here is the average applied control which is uh, averaged out uh, we have simply applied a low pass filter to this signal to obtain this signal I think I have also written the dynamics of the low pass filter this low pa pass filter is utilized to uh, get the average applied control so you see that uh, this uh, sliding mode control implementation is uh, also simpler and it works uh, we have talked about one disadvantage of uh, the uh, sliding mode control uh, before we continue this here is a homework for you you have to design a sliding mode controller for the same system but to stabilize it in the upright position uh, and uh, also to stabilize it at horizontal position the procedure is simple 
you can simply apply state transformation to bring these points to origin and then apply all the procedure which we have already studied.